close video Cara Williams, one of the last remaining actresses of Hollywood's Golden Age and an Oscar nominee for her performance in 1958's The Defiant Ones, died on Thursday. She was 96 years old. Williams's death was confirmed to variety by her daughter Justine Yagoda and her great nephew Richard Potter. Not only was she a sparkling actress with impeccable comedic timing, she was also funny, over the top, warm hearted, and loving, Yagoda told Variety in a statement. She could make anyone laugh and smile if they had a bad day. She was everything that you could wish for in a mother and more. It's a sad loss to lose a woman from this incredible era. Born as Bernice Camiot in Brooklyn, N. Why, on June 29, 1925, Williams began working as an actress when she was a child. After her parents divorced, she relocated to Hollywood with her mother and began to attend the Hollywood Professional School, giving voice performances in cartoon shorts. At age 16, Williams was signed by 20th Century Fox and began appearing in small, often unbilled parts in films such as Wide Open Town, Happy Land and in the meantime, Darling. Following a turn in a stage production of Born Yesterday, Williams' career ignited in the late 1940s and 50s. The actress earned big supporting roles in Boomerang, The Girl Next Door and The Helen Morgan Story. She garnered an Academy Award nomination in the category of Best Supporting Actress for her performance as a widowed mother in Stanley Kramer's The Defiant Ones, acting opposite Sidney Poitier and Tony Curtis. She later took on roles in comedies Never Steal Anything Small and The Man from the Diners Club. Williams also worked in television, earning an Emmy nomination for her lead performance as Gladys in CBS Pete and Gladys, the network's spin-off of its 1950s sitcom December Bride. A running joke of December Bride involved a supporting character played by Harry Morgan complaining about his dizzy wife, Gladys. Williams stepped into that unseen role for the spin-off series. Williams also later starred in her own series, The Kara Williams Show, alongside Frank Letter. By the 1980s, Williams had stepped away from acting. Williams married Alan Gray in 1945. The two had a daughter before divorcing after two years. In 1952, Williams wed actor John Drew Barrymore, son of John Barrymore, and the two produced actor John Blythe Barrymore before divorcing in 1959. Williams later wed Los Angeles real estate figure Asher Dan in 1964. The two remained married until Dan's death in 2018 at the age of 83.